Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and you're watching my full review of the Moyu Tang Long. So the Tang Long, it's a new Moyu 3x3, and of course we all knew that. It's of course supposed to have made minor improvements over previous cubes, adding to the ever-growing collection of Moyu 3x3s where each cube is better than the last, or that's the idea. As you all know, recently I felt that all of these cubes have had no purpose at all, but I think this one just might. Judging from the mechanism and external appearance, the cube looks to be Moyu's attempt to rival the Gan 56. And well, they've done a great job. First off, I just want to mention the price. While the Gan 56 is well over $20, the Tang Long is closer to $15, so much more affordable for those people on a tight budget. As for the turning, it feels like a faster, blockier Gan 56. However, the blockiness doesn't make the cube feel unstable, it's actually quite the opposite. The cube feels very sturdy and solid, unlike the Gansu 56 which wobbles around a lot more. Corner cutting is fantastic as well, just like it should be, maxing out at well over 45 degrees regular and 3 fourths of a piece reverse. One of the biggest issues I've had with the Gans 56 and other cubes with the squared off corner design is catching. Luckily the catching on this cube is not nearly as bad as it is on the Gans 56 which is a huge bonus for me. The cube still could do with a slight rounding of the corners, but of course corner twists have been completely prevented with this design choice. Looking at the mechanism, the Tang Long definitely has its resemblances to the Gan 56, but it actually more closely reminds me of another older cube and a previous main of mine, the Yu Long. Upon closer inspection of the mechanism, I realized how simple and minimalistic the design of the Tang Long is, and I always love these designs. While they do have their fair share of issues, they work just like they should, and it means there is less room for error or design flaw, unlike the Gan 56 which has a much more complex design, to the point where you have to tension the corner screws in order to get maximum performance, something I don't think should have ever been necessary. So in the end, the Tang Long definitely earns a spot in Moyu's lineup, and is a solid option for those who maybe wanted a cheaper version of the Gan 56 or like the cube except for its unstable nature or strange mechanism. As a cube that I believe was made to compete with the Gan 56 I think this cube has succeeded. If you're looking for a revolutionary new cube that pushes the limits of what can be done with a mechanism, this is definitely not it. And like I say in every review, if you have a cube you are already happy with, this will most likely not replace it, and it won't be my main, but if you do want to purchase the Tang Long, the link will be in the description. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full-on comparison of the Tang Long and Gan 56 and whether or not you have already bought or plan on buying the Tang Long. So that's all I have to say on the Moyu Tang Long. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already done so, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.